Good evening, I'm Ryan Pratt. And I'm Mitch Bull. Here's tonight's top story. Key ISIS commander Abu Sayyaf was killed this Friday by U.S. Army's Delta Force troops. Director Catherine Bigelow has already cleared a space on her shelf for her next Oscar. <laughs> the NFL is suspending Tom Brady four games for his role in the Flake Gate. Unlike domestic violence and murders, the NFL has a zero tolerance policy on removing air from footballs. <laughs> <laughs> but the polls shows a sharp rise in the number of Americans who no longer have a religion. The results are bad news for churches, but at least now, Posier can find parking. <laughs> <laughs> George Zimmerman was injured Monday in a shooting, commented God. <laughs> Good! <laughs> The self-driving cars being tested in California have gotten in accidents since September. One of the accidents happened due to the car texting his best friend. Toaster. <laughs> <laughs> a second Legoland hotel opened this weekend in Florida that looks like it's made entirely of Lego bricks, said a recent guest. The family had a great time, except for the toilet paper. <laughs> Offered 
high school freshman Sharif O'Neal, the son of Shaquille O'Neal, a basketball scholarship on Wednesday, said a USC recruiter. I know what, I know what you're thinking, <laughs> but we are going to wait till his senior year <laughs> to give him a new car. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's illegal. <laughs> when asked Tuesday who the greatest living president is, three Republican presidential candidates all said Ronald Reagan. And when they were asked who their favorite living movie star is, they all said Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> On June 11th, a Colorado restaurant will celebrate White Appreciation Day, or as Fox News calls it, Thursday. <laughs>